Hey, Willow family. As we look at our devotional for today, we're looking at Mark 13. Mark 13. Here you find Jesus having um, a very sobering conversation with his disciples. It starts about the destruction of the temple, but it moves very quickly to a preview of what they can begin to expect. Um, He, they start off almost as kids being in a museum, amazed at the quality and the beauty of the temple. And then Jesus prophesies and says, yeah, but it's all coming down. And then it's almost as if he pulls them close and he says, here's what this means for you. Before the end, it'll get harder before it gets better. He tells them, watch out for yourselves. Persecution is coming. They're going to persecute you. They're going to come after you. Prepare your heart for persecution. Then he talks about, but in the midst of your persecution, Don't worry, the gospel must be preached to all nations. The gospel is going to spread to all nations. Every nation, everyone, every tongue, every race will hear the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So while persecution will be happening, the gospel will be spreading. While persecution will be happening, the gospel will be spreading. And then finally, he says, um, when they arrest you, even in that moment in the courtroom, don't worry about what to say because the Holy Spirit's going to speak on your behalf. He's going to give you the words. He's going to speak when the time comes. I am so overwhelmed at the reality of the presence of God in every situation and in every season. There are seasons and times when persecution seems high, but even in the midst of persecution, revival takes place. Even in hard times, the gospel still spreads. And even when we find ourselves in captivity, he says, don't worry about what to say. Because even in that moment, the Holy Spirit is still moving, still speaking, still moving on your behalf. God has a plan for his church, has a plan for his people. And that plan doesn't include uh, rainbows and Skittles all the time. It includes persecution. It includes persecution. But he says, in that, I'll be with you. Not only that, but he has a vision for his church and he wants this gospel to speak to all people, all nations, people that don't look alike, don't live alike, don't vote alike, all people. And we've got to participate in this gospel going to every nation. Even in the midst of persecution, the gospel is still spreading. God cares about every person, every race, every tribe. It's amazing to me how during this season we're in currently, our Asian brothers and sisters are carrying unjust burdens in our society. And I've heard their cries, I've seen their tears, and I've had the privilege of walking aside, walking alongside them and knowing that this isn't a time for racist outrage. This is a time to see the value that Jesus Christ has for all nations, all people, experiencing the fullness of what he has for them. So it just inspires me that the gospel will go to all nations. He said, it's important. Everybody's got here. Everybody has black, white, Asian, Latino. Everybody's got here. Everybody's got here. And then we've got a God that's not just there in times of persecution, 
not just passionate about all nations, but he says in your heart, in your hardest moments, the Holy Spirit will be there. And that's not the time to worry about what to say because the Holy Spirit will speak. Holy Spirit will speak. Mark chapter 13 is marked with all kinds of uh, innuendos and nods to the end times and what God is doing to the temple and what prophetically came true. And it show, it just proves over and over that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, but he's a Messiah who cares about his children, who cares about his children. I want you to know today that same Jesus cares about you. Even in times that are hard, he's there. He cares about that message being being passed on to all people. And he's present in your hardest times and he'll give you a voice to speak the power of the Holy Spirit. Mark chapter 13 is just marked. It's marked with the presence of God, a God who cares about the details.